videos in the series of video which I have been made for class 10 social science subject and the textbook which we are going to discuss here in this video is history and within the history the first chapter is the rise of nationalism in Europe so this chapter is too much lengthy chapter and separate topics are so confusing which are being I think so unable to explain the teachers to the student and students are finding so difficulties to understand those topics and I am going to make those topics to be framed in the form of questions and definitely you will be understand by the means of question and when you selected points to be explained by me. So we, if you are going to use this point, you will get the whole and full point. So let us start this video. In this video, you are going to learn the topic is that Frederick Solio painting, which has been made in 1848. The Frederick Solio's painting, a French artist, made this painting in 1848. So the theme is that the democratic social republic, most important question. What was the theme of that painting? Every painting has its own theme. So what is the painting theme of Frederick Solio? Democratic and social republic. Understood? Then Statue of Liberty. Why this painter or artist used this Statue of Liberty? To show that torch of enlightenment in one hand and starter of right of man in another one. Okay? Then these two countries, that means United States and Switzerland, were not being shown by the artist in the painting. Why? Because they were the nation state at that time. Then France was the first country to pass the Statue of Liberty, which has been followed by Germany by the color of flag is black, red, and gold. Every country is being shown by the help of flag. Flag is the symbol used by the people so as to symbolize their country. Understood? Christ, Saint, Angels, Grace. Grace means to look upon the scene that is painting as they are being used by the artist to show the fraternity among the nation. What is the word as fraternity among nation? Okay. Last topic here. Ruins at the bottom of the point. What is that? Ruins at the bottom of the painting shown by the artist just to show that demolished monarchy system of God. At the bottom of the painting, you will see that crowns and ruins of the sword throne are being shown by the artist. So it shows that the monarchy system is being demolished. Okay? I hope you have understood this topic very easily and I request you all to share and subscribe this video as many as people as possible.